Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering the second story in Superman, number 36. Glory for Gloria. This is a jingoistic, sexist, and racist story. It really hits the trifecta of just being terrible. So what is this story? It's a USO show story. So there's this actress, famous actress named Gloria who's going on a USO show. The problem being is she's only kind of there to promote her new movie and uh, all the things she's up to, which is seen as selfish, except they do know the USO shows weren't completely, you know, altruistic. Those celebrities and famous people were going there, not entirely for the goodness of their heart, but for publicity, which I'm having trouble saying right now. My mouth is just, nothing works with the freaking braces, but the publicity. This is seen as wrong, and she is seen as being a brat because the woman went overseas and did something good for the troops, but because she did it for selfish reasons, she is a brat and needs to be put down, which is where Superman shows up and essentially makes her perform like she's his own dancing monkey. Oh man, I really hate this story already. It's So we already have, like, you should be doing this selfless for the country, and you have the argument that it's wrong for a woman to do this for selfish reasons, and she is specifically being a brat, and Superman is making her perform. And, and as a woman, she needs to be talked down to by, you know, the superior man. Uh, this gets worse when they get attacked by the Japanese, and the Japanese are, of course, depicted as buck tooth and barely able to speak. Uh, they're not their monster cells, but they are attacked by the Japanese, who are caricatures. So yeah, we hit all three of bad things. Uh, I don't like this story. It's it's just mostly a uh, bad thing after a bad thing after a bad thing, and very much of its time, which is not an excuse. Superman should know better than this. Okay, that is it from Superman number 36, Glory for Gloria. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And when will a woman put him in his place? Actually, Lois used to put him in his place. Not anymore, though. Okay, have a great day.